thoughts inside my back And I would walk around with my head down Like I was the one who was doing something And I was smarter men than me Say it gets dark before the dawn And I can't wait till the morning To admit that something's wrong So after spending 180 days exactly in a calorie deficit last year, you've seen me get shredded. Now you're about to see a completely other side of me. And trust me, I will go hard. I rebound it a wee bit hard. Now I'm currently 16 or 17 kilograms over my stage weight. And like people always say, you might be like 16 or 17 pounds over stage weight after a couple of months, but um, no, I've doubled that. Plus point two. I've decided I want to reel it in a wee bit because even though it's like really snowy right now, spring is coming. And you know what spring means? Decent weather. And you want to walk around in a t-shirt without feeling like a slug. So Operation Make Gary Not a Slug Anymore is in full swing. Mini cut. Day one. Here we go. Oh, but Gary, you uploaded a video last week. Yeah, well, I'm uploading one this week too. And not all heroes wear capes. I have to crunch with this camera angle right now, but you know, I'll do it for the same. Anyway, what am I doing today, you ask? I'm about to go to the gym here and hit a big dirty leg session because the lever belt that Victoria got me for Christmas, we had to get it all resized and everything. And I have just, and uh, now, now we've got a smaller one, which actually does fit. So we're gonna test that out and I'm going to let you know how it goes. We're going to do a physique update anyway. I'll show you what I've done over the past four months. Four months? Yeah, nearly four months. Three months, maybe? I'll show you what I've done ever since the British Finals and the damage that I've done to myself. Well, not really damage. It's been fun. It's been fun. Yeah, so I would skip the video from here if you don't want to see a very pale and PSD young white male take his top off. Nah, uh, JK, so here we are, this is how we're looking. A lot a lot puffier than last time. Um, quite a big difference from the shreds, and I'm also very, very white because I don't tan whatsoever. So, here's how the old abs are looking. Very kind of fluffy. The old side shot, I used to have obliques. We back shot. I'll do, I'll do the whole. Just holding a lot of water. We'll say it's water. I'm not competing this year whatsoever. I'm leaving that for 2020. But I might just get relatively lean this year and see how that goes. We'll see. Because I actually do quite enjoy the challenge of getting a wee bit shredded. So that's the physique. And I'm actually I'm happy enough with how I'm looking. Like I'm not like conscious with it or anything like that. And I've kind of embraced the whole bulky thing. But... Really, one thing I've been lacking a lot lately is just structure in my nutrition and my training and I just don't feel accountable to myself and I feel like by doing a wee series like this, I feel like it's just going to put that in the back of my mind that I need to do it for something, if that makes sense. Last year and the year before I did the whole 90 days thing on Instagram and that was like a major thing in terms of accountability for me so just having other people know I'm doing it. I need to like prove myself, hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, without having structure in my diet, I've just felt off. I just haven't like got a rhythm. So yeah, once I get back to my like standard meals, my some cardio maybe, hopefully I'll feel back to normal again. But anyway, let's go to the gym folks.
so I've been back in the gym for like seven or eight hours now. And I've been editing this video and getting some other stuff done. Basically, I just want to recap my aims for this mini cut. At the minute, I'm 95 kilograms and it's the heaviest I've ever been in my life. And I'm feeling comfortable enough, but it's just I want a wee bit of a change. Man, I just want to get a wee bit leaner because that works really well for Instagram photos. For the next couple of weeks, I'm going to have my calories around 2,800. A steep enough deficit for me, so I'll see how that goes for four or five days and I'll decide whether to change it then. I'll also be tracking my weight pretty regularly because, you know, you just need to stay on top of things. So, on to a couple of questions now. I've been asked what subs do I use, meaning supplements. I use creatine, vitamin D, multivitamins, sometimes fish oils, and separately malate. And I use ZMAs, which have actually been working quite well for me. Would you ever become vegan? I would give it a go, but I don't really, I'm not like passionate about it, so I don't know why I would. I might do it for a week sometime or something, maybe. I've got nothing against it really, I just do enjoy some chicken and hit my protein every day. I don't really know how vegans hit their protein every day, but there's, there's probably a way. You know. How much water should you drink in a day? Normally I drink about 6 litres, but I, I just constantly drink water and I feel like that's not, that's probably like well above average, but as far as I know, it's like 3 to 4 litres a day that you should be drinking. How long have you been making videos for? I made my first ever YouTube video in 2009, which is 10 years ago. That's crazy. And it was me holding up drawings. I thought it was very creative and yeah, that was a good way to start. So yeah, I've been on YouTube for a very long time, doing a lot of different things. And this time I'm determined to make something of it. So consistency is where I'm going to get that, I suppose. So weekly videos are the goal for this next year and we'll see where we go. Why do you look bigger when you're cutting? Like really bodybuilding is like a huge illusion. And the leaner you are, the more like defined your shoulders and everything like that is going to be. So you're going to have more cuts and it's just going to shape a lot better. Um, and plus, whenever you're holding a wee bit of extra body weight, you just lose those shapes and you don't look as good. Yeah, so you look alright in clothes though. Whenever you're cutting, you start getting wee gaps in your t-shirts and that's not ideal. But whenever you put your top off, you look great. Should you train when you're sick? I was actually going to make a video on this last week. Why well, I actually was sick, but I was feeling too sick that I couldn't even make the video. So, should you train when you're sick? It really does depend on how bad you are. Really, I wouldn't sweat things too much. Like, taking three or four days off the gym isn't going to completely reverse all your progress. So, don't be scared to take some time off. But if it's just a cold or whatever, yeah, you could, you could work through it. Also, I've heard that low-intensity steady-state cardio can be beneficial whenever you're sick, so you can put that in mind if you want to I've never really tried it myself, but I noticed whenever I was cutting, I'm doing a lot of cardio, I never really did get sick, so there you go. Right folks, that's me for tonight, I really hope you enjoyed this video, I really appreciate it if you could leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're not already, because I've changed channels and I don't want everything back on this one, as I said in my last vlog. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video, next week.